all right, I've got a trip planned. I got a flight tomorrow and I've got to get this thing into this thing. And if you're following me on Instagram, you already know where I'm at and I'll leave it at that. So most of you guys have never seen this channel before. You probably just Googled how to fly with your mountain bike. Welcome aboard. I've been flying a ton with my bike lately because the mission of this channel is to mountain bike the best trails in the world. And I've been doing that and I've been loving it. So, you know, check out some other videos if you just want to watch some badass rides. But you're not here for that. You're here, here to figure out how to get your mountain bike in a bag and how it all works. So I've got this Evoc Bike Bag Pro. I just got it today, actually. And uh, Carve Imports, who gets the Evoc stuff and distributes it in America, was kind enough to give it to me. So that is fantastic. I have been flying with the regular Evoc travel bag. And there's some pros and cons to that one. Your bike bag takes a beating when it flies. That is the number one thing. It is, I can show you the insides of the bag and how it's beat up in certain different parts. And it's, uh, yeah, it takes quite a walloping. So you need a good solid bike bag and the Evoc bags are the class of the field, of course. So this might sound a little counterintuitive, but my number one advice would be don't fly with your bike. <laughs> if you're going on a holiday and a guided trip where they, they offer bikes to rent, just rent the bike. It's, it's easier, it's cheaper, it's their bike, you mess it up, they fix it. Uh, the trip I just got back from, from Spain, everybody brought their own bike and everybody's bike, except for mine, this sweet Bronson, like blew up at some point. So <laughs> it was kind of silly, the amount of mechanicals and damage and everything happening. But if you're like me and you absolutely love your bike and you cannot, you cannot go without it because you love it so much and it performs so nicely, uh, you're gonna fly with your bike and it's just what has to be done. So the cost of flying. So depending on certain airlines, I've had a, a few different prices. Uh, Delta was $150 each way. American Airlines, $150 each way. Spirit, 75 bucks each way. Not bad, low cost, shorter flight, that kind of thing. So you gotta check with the airline first to figure out the prices. So very pricey. And then, you know, hitting connecting flights and stuff, it's always a worry. Is the bike gonna, is the bike gonna come out? Where is it coming out? It comes out at oversized baggage area usually. Sometimes it fits on the baggage carousel. So you gotta, Gotta worry about that stuff. The bike has come out fine every time. When I got back from Whistler a few months ago, for some reason in the San Francisco airport, they brought the luggage out like two stories lower than where everyone else's luggage was. So when I went out and looked down, there the bag was, so. But yeah, I've been using these bags. No damage to my bike as far as I could tell. And so let's get into it, let's start packing. So first and foremost, your bike needs to be very, very clean because cross-contamination of dirt is a big deal. They, if they see like clods of dirt on your bike, you're not gonna be able to get out of the country or in the country or they'll take your bike and spray it down with a crazy pressure washer and just destroy it. So your bike needs to be clean. So start washing. I just got this thing called the Brush Hero, which I saw on Gene's channel, Regular Guy Mountain Biking. And uh, I like, it was the first thing I've seen in a long time where I was like, whoa, neat, I wanna get that, I need to have that. So, you know, I see a lot of products nowadays, but I, I thought this was really cool. So I used that to clean my bike earlier today. So now it's looking good, nice and clean, and we can start disassembling it and getting it in the bike bag. So the first step will be just taking off the handlebars. Drop them down to the side. Then we're gonna put the face plate right back on. I also like taking off the rear derailleur just as extra precaution. And this might be kind of a no duh kind of thing, but remember any kind of tools that you need to take all this stuff apart, you're gonna to need to put it back together when you get to your destination. My multi-tool hand, can handle all this stuff, but I, I can see it happening. I'm the type of guy that forgets about stuff and will, uh, could possibly blow this and forget. I've got the bike ready. I think everything's good. I'm gonna bring the bike over and uh, throw it in here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to awkwardly drop the seat. 
while pushing these <laughs> teeth through the bag and cutting into it already. So let's let's get it over here first. I'm gonna tuck the handlebars back in here. Just pre-positioning right now. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now, I'm trying to get it as far forward as I can because there's these Velcros that need to go across the seat right here and then up here. There's another one right here. So, so this isn't a comparison video about this bag versus my old red bag. I'll do something about that uh, probably later on, the pro versus the normal, but I can already tell a few differences which are really good. Like right here, there's kind of this, this, this whole pad thing is much better than the old one. It has kind of a, a gutter here that you can run the chain in, which was always a big problem. The chain was just kind of awkwardly sitting. Okay, one thing you're gonna notice is a lot of yellow rags. I get these from Costco and they are plentiful. Okay, so one thing that a lot of people do is they leave the skewers in and they put they cut like a piece of PVC to go in between the frame. And I'm not doing that because the instructions say take the skewers out. I'm gonna trust the pros who actually built the bag and they want me to take the skewers out, so I'm gonna take the skewers out. So I'll leave that be for now and let's work on the handlebars because they're all flopping around out here. Okay, so really, first step, get this uh, top tube going. Down tube, top tube protector. I'm gonna put it right up against the front. Okay, so this is the frame pad. That's on there. The frame pad also has a few Velcros for the handlebar. All right, this big one straps the bike frame to the bag. And then there's one more handlebar Velcro right here. Definitely some contact point right here. I'm not maniacal about this. Kind of have to let your babies go and, and, and not worry about the whole thing. One thing I forgot to do was uh, insert these little keepers into the brakes. They help the brakes from getting squeezed and having a hard time getting them getting the rotors in when you put them on. I think they came with one of my old bikes and I just still have them, so I put them to use. Kind of just taking a mental inventory here. There's three different positions this can be in and up and down as well. So it looks like this position will be the best one for my bike at the moment. And then over here, it's the same thing. Now we're getting more secure. This piece of plastic down where the fork actually touches the bottom of the bag is much improved as well. The, uh, the old one's a little skinnier, and I think sometimes my one of the stanchions would actually be off of this pad and contacting the bottom of the bag. Try to run this one behind the brakes so you don't hit the brake hose. Okay, now let's get this, this area of the bike secure. This is always kind of a problem. So uh, it's, it's always very close. But in the new bag, not directly on it. In the old bag, I had to actually wrap a yellow, <laughs> yellow rag around this area. And you know what? Maybe I will do that just for safety's sake. Uh -oh. 
break that already? All right. So we definitely have some rock going on in this region. And it's very tough to show on camera, but I'll give it a try. So I'm in this crevice right here, and this is actually kind of cracked because I'm trying to tighten this up very tight to keep it from rocking. So I'm going to have to find a good way to get in there and get this sorted out. Okay, so I played with this box thing a little bit. I kind of picked it up and moved it back a little bit. Still kind of funky. So I'm going to do what I can, get it as tight as I can, but actually feel like it's moving around a decent amount. And if it moves around a little, it's going to move around a lot on the flight. So if anybody has any comments or solutions or that you've seen this before, let me know. So the bike is pretty well squared away. Let's put the wheels in. It's kind of nice. This is different. It kind of has this little recessed area and then this pad. I'd say I've done uh, 12 flights on the other bag, which is just from three trips, but there was six flights going to Spain, going and coming back from Spain. A little tougher to get the front wheel in, so I'm gonna deflate it just a little bit. So now that we've got the bag and the bike all situated, we can fill this son of a bitch up with other stuff that you don't want to put in your bag. So, got my sleeping bag here. Perfect spot for that. Most important items of all, helmet, pedals, shoes. Hydration bag as well. Also really important, the skewers that you took out. <laughs> it's like all this stuff starts to start laying around in the garage and you have to be very aware. Very risky to put your helmet in the bag. I've done it, my helmet's come out fine, but uh, not recommended. TSA will open the bag up and if you're not careful, stuff's gonna spill out. So you don't wanna pack it too tight. You don't wanna pack it too exact. Extra knobby nick for the road. God, it's got a kink in it. What the hell? This is like a puzzle. <laughs> you know, the people at the baggage counter seem to freak out a little bit every time I've brought my bike. I don't know why. Like, I know the price. I know it's gonna be 150 bucks. They're always like, oh, it's kind of heavy. It's, yeah, it's gonna be about 60 pounds. So I've never been told I can't take it. So even with a little bit of hemming and hawing. So just another thing to worry about. Also gonna bring a couple extra brake rotors. I think that pretty well covers it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. It was always a scary mystery when I was thinking about flying with my bike and you just got to dive in and do it, buy the bag, pack it all up, show up at the airport and see what happens. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the trail.